Now, there's been a lot going on with Tarot in a Classic lately, and if you haven't been following it, that's okay. We're going to cover most of it in this video, but guys, we're going to get an update on the staking numbers because more people than anticipated are staking. This is a great start, and I do believe that it's going to continue to grow. We've got a, I guess, prospectus on the 1.2% burn tax, and we've got Lunatics token out there burning even more. Terra Luna Classic. So we're going to discuss it all, and if it sounds Sounds like something you're interested in? Let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting six free stocks. $1 crypto trade, you're gonna get $5 in free crypto. And then you got a crypto exclusive exchange. Now listen, be careful, KuCoin is out there and and they are a crypto exclusive exchange. You can buy and sell and trade Terra Luna Classic on there if you want. And they also offer leverage trading. So be careful if you guys go out and decide to trade futures and leverage 5, 10x and so on. Yes, you can make 10x the rewards, but yes, you can lose 10x the, the, the amount as well. So be very careful if you're trading on margin like that. But nonetheless, you can do it. And it is a place that you can buy Terra Luna Classic if you expect it to rise in price. So guys, let's talk about, oh my goodness, let's talk about Terra Luna Classic and how much success we've been seeing over the last few days. It is incredible. And, and I'm going to start off by saying this. <clears throat> I've said it in a lot of the previous videos. The burn tax is awesome. The, the staking being re-enabled re is awesome. But the fact that we are making progress, that people are agreeing, that validators are downloading and approving these changes is that's the real success this prog or this 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 project has a group of people behind it that are actually pushing it forward as opposed to arguing and bickering and not getting along and fighting and watching things deteriorate. So we are absolutely witnessing success already in Terra Luna Classic and we are just getting started. Guys, a little bit of an update on the staking numbers. We've got roughly 6% of the entire circulating supply of Terra Luna Classic already being staked. It is roughly 400 billion Terra Luna Classic that are staked at this point, and the number continues to move higher. You know, this is just in a couple day period that we're experiencing this much, and I believe that it is going to continue to grow as a couple things happen. As more people realize how to do it, first of all, is more people understand the rewards for staking, and as more people feel comfortable that, that this is actually happening, they're going to buy into Terra Luna Classic for the very first time and then stake to earn those rewards. And from what I've been seeing, it's roughly a 21-day lockup, and, and the rewards aren't insane. It's not like we're sitting here and, and getting some... I guess unrealistic number. A lot of the staking rewards are, are realistic, sustainable, and so on. So this is good news across the board. And I, I do want to touch on this. So when it comes to Terra Luna Classic, one of the problems that we've seen with staking is that basically a handful of validators control 77% of the entire vote. And in, in order to promote decentralization and more of a, a decentralized authority when it comes to Terra Luna Classic, a lot of people are talking about, okay, we'll stake some with <clears throat> some more reputable validators, stake some with more of these bigger guys, and then stake a, a little bit of amount with the smaller guys just so that we can diversify the, the centralization a little bit here and not allow for one or two or, or three validators to control the entire blockchain. And that makes sense. So a very creative way that I've seen people going about this is that they are staking the vast majority of their coins with a larger validator. Nothing wrong with that. If you feel comfortable with it, do it, right? 
uh, it's your money at the end of the day. You gotta be, you gotta feel comfortable with where you're keeping it. So stake it with the bigger guys if you would like. And then the rewards. I see people claiming rewards now on a daily basis and staking the rewards with some of the smaller validators. So it does go out there. It diversifies a little bit. It decentralizes the network and allows for, you know, more of a, more of a diversification when it comes to the, the votes that people have out there. So something to think about if you're not willing to just go out there and push everything with a with a smaller validator, but nonetheless, guys, you know, do it responsibly because if we see a run up in in Terra Luna Classic, you're not gonna want to have all of your coins staked because you're gonna want to take advantage of that that run up in price. So if capital gains are your thing, you might want to watch out when it comes to staking. <clears throat> nonetheless, right around the corner is the 1.2% burn tax update that should be happening sometime around September 12th. And whether or not, look, you got to take these dates as tentative, which means that it's not guaranteed to happen then. Uh, a lot of stuff that we read on the internet, that we see in videos on the internet, um, although it is the, the goal dates and what we are pushing for, we absolutely need to remember that we can run into things, problems can happen on the blockchain, and, and things can uh, slow down a little bit. So <clears throat> that's the date that's being thrown around right now as the potential date for the 1.2% burn tax to be implemented. And speaking of burns, okay, listen, no disrespect for, to Lunatic Token, but I absolutely hope that this 1.2% burn tax blows away any of the community burns that we have seen so far. And it should, right? But Lunatics Token is absolutely killing it when it comes to burning and when it comes to this community initiative. They have another 400 million Terra Luna Classic set to be burnt over the next couple of days. And this is going to take them, it's going to take them above 2 billion tokens, guys. It's going to take them above 2 billion tokens, and I believe the US dollar amount on that that has been burnt at the current prices is roughly a quarter million dollars. So Lunatics token absolutely leading the community initiative when it comes to burning Terra Luna Classic. Awesome job. Thank you guys very much for that. The 1.2% burn tax right around the corner and staking seems to be a major success right now. With all of these things coming together, it does seem like the price can only go in one direction, and that is up. Um, you know, never take that for granted, though. Never take it for granted that a coin price is only ever going to go up. It absolutely can pull back, especially in the face of the current crypto market. But nonetheless, guys, as more and more people realize what's happening with the Terra Luna Classic blockchain, what's happening with this community, they're going to get excited and they're going to want to get involved. So it's only a matter of time before we see some gains. And I hope that it's sooner rather than later. So I want to know what you guys think. Have you staked any, any Terra Luna Classic up to this point, or do you plan on staking any Terra Luna Classic? Let us know down there. And, of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram, getting six free stocks on Weeble. You get a crypto-exclusive exchange that allows you to leverage on KuCoin. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.